Hello, my marvellous sausages, and here we are in Watcher's Grave on Nessus. It's the 5th of April, and Zur is here to foist his ways upon us. Let's uh, jump up here. Excuse the rickety voice. It's still rickety. I don't know. Maybe my head's going to explode. Right, here we go. Up the... Uh musculature with a bit of red guts on it as this is Nessus of course and here he is up well he, he's up the tree hello my lovely boy how's them pointy objects on your face what are you doing and let's see what he's got for us and the weapon this week is the Darcy sniper rifle I'm sure we had this about three or four weeks ago didn't we really so we haven't got it here's a chance to pick it up personal assistant aim at an enemy to view its health and other critical information in the scope and then when you're doing that it deals significantly more precision damage and also jolts the target not too bad worth a pickup not many exotic sni uh, snipers although we've got whisper coming next week so but anyway you might like the look of that one uh, what do we have here we got the knucklehead radar now this is for the Hunters. Uh, let's have a look at stat edge first. 68. That's massively high. We haven't got the spikes anywhere. Nice though. Really, have we? I mean, resilience is pretty good. Mobility. Mm, provides radar while you're aiming. Very, very useful. Enhances your radar resolution while crouched and visually marks targets and deals more damage to low health marked targets. Interesting. Uh, really interesting exotic. This great number, but not a great spread. Let's have a look at the insurmountable skull fort. Now, uh, this is for the, uh, what's it for? Titans, of course. Let's have a little look at what we got here now, my voice. It's my voice. At 63, uh, which is rubbish, to be honest, for an exotic, although... You've got a doodar and strength there, which is where you kind of want it with a melee-based uh, exotic. Kills with arc melee abilities trigger health regeneration and restore melee energy. So, melee, melee, who knows? Uh, there we are, so there's that. And then finally, for the uh, Warlocks, we've got the Crown of Tempests or Pat Butcher's Wig. Uh, let's have a little look at what we've got stats-wise. 66. Good in strength, that. Not bad at all. Not so bad. Recovery. It's okay. It's not bad. Nice numbers. Arc ability or jolt final blows increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of storm trance. So there we go. If you want to look like Patch Butcher. Patch? Who's Patch Butcher? Pat Butcher from EastEnders, then this is what you want. Because that's it. Look, they've left the uh, tag still on them from the shop. And let's go down to the weapons. A slight mixed bag this week, but there are a couple of goodies in here which you really should have a little look at. Now, we had this last week, the False Promises Auto Rifle. Uh, it's kinetic, high impact frame. What we got here for the masterwork, this one's stability. Popularity for this role, though, is an F, so it's not kept very often, this particular role. We've got Eye of the Storm, Threat Detector, Extended Mag, Armor Piercing Rounds. This is not going to be kind to me, is it, this week? Let's try it with a wrecked voice. Smelba! <laughs> Smelba! I can't do it. Smelba! I can't do it. It's wrecked. That's it. It's the end of an era. Uh, chambered Gobber Potato as well. So there we go. <laughs> I know some of my mods are going to find that very amusing. So there you go. That's <laughs> false promises. Uh, we've got the Brass Attacks Sidearm. Let's have a little look at this. Uh, <laughs> I'm still laughing at that small ball. We've got Wellspring, Killing Wind, Armor Piercing Rounds, Ricochet, Hey Rick, Polygonal Rifling or Corkscrew Rifling, and a Reload Speed Masterwork on that baby there. So what's that one? That is a C on like GG. Next, we've got the Extraordinary Rendition Submachine Gun. Uh, a C on like GG for this particular role. I think it's quite a nice role myself. Multi-kill clip, subsistence, alloy magazine, flared mag, well, extended barrel, and arrowhead break for the stability, and a stability master right there. That's actually pretty good for stabilizing that baby out, and it's a pretty good submachine gun, or at least it was back in the day. Aggressive frame two. Lovely. There we are. That's a nice one. Uh, the extraordinary rendition. Sojourner's Tail shotgun. Uh, this is a C on the popularity stakes. Uh, frenzy, moving target, assault mag, extended mag, Oh no. <laughs> Fluted barrel. That's not too bad, see, because it's not too low in my chest. And then we've got arrowhead break as well. <laughs> Reno speed master. Bloody hell. Things I suffer for my arse. I mean, art. Right. Uh, ignition code grenade launcher. Now then, you hear that squeak? It was terrifying. However, this is a pretty damn good roll. This is a B in popularity. And we've got demolitionist, which is excellent. Field prep. Which ain't too bad, but we've got disorientating, or disorienting rather, with no potatoes in the middle. Grenade detonation has a brief disorienting effect. Very, very useful, and also, of course, with demolitionists as well. Let's 
stick your grenade uh, energy up nice and quick. Implosion rounds, hard launch, and quater mass in the pit. And we've got a reload speed masterwork there as well. There we go, ignition goat. I'd buy that one personally. In, you know what? In, in fact, oh my god. Hang on. I got my iron banana trousers on. I'm gonna... Oh, I'll sort it out later. Moving on to swords. We've got the honor's edge sword. Uh, let's have a look at this. It's an uh, arc. It's adaptive frame. This particular one has been given a B. Not A, B, but a B. Not bad. Surrounded. Pretty damn good to have surrounded on a sword. Uh, energy transfer. A boist guard. A balanced guard. Enduring blade and tempered edge as well. And an impact masterwork as well. God, I hope this laryngite just buggers off soon. I can hear it scream. Squeaking. I sound like a squeaky tennis ball, yes. And then we've got another bloody sword if one wasn't enough. It's a Temptations hook, which is cast a frame. It's arc, which means you chuck a, a nice bolt of arcage at them. Got a whirlwind blade on it as well. A whirlwind blade on it very well, which is quite nice. Energy transfer, balance guard, enduring guard, enduring blade, lots of enduring. Got Glenn Close, and we've got tempered edge as well. And we've got an impact masterwork too. That is a B as well, so that's pretty popular. So we've got three Bs here this week, but my standout, unless you're a swordist, of course, is the ignition code grenade launcher. Very nice. Right, moving down to the wardrobe malfunctions, we've got anti extinction uh, this week, which of course is the uh, what you call a dead orbit set lovely that's not too bad on the statage 61 here on the uh, gloves we've got a spike in recovery and an intellect mm, not great nice looking though wouldn't you say yes uh we've got anti-extinction herbs let's have a look at those i'm not too keen on those on the warlock i don't think no i don't think so 64 Nothing great, nothing to uh, write home about. And uh, we've got the Stellar Incognita Bond, if you want to see that there. There we go, with the um, uh, dead orbit little symbol on it. Or is it a can opener? We've got the Anti-Extinction Hood, which has got scaffolding coming out front, which is always pretty cool. Stats-wise, though, it's only a 63, so it's not brilliant. And then we've got the Anti-Extinction Booties as well. Where's that got it? That's a 66. That's very good. Nice. In fact, that's very good. Particularly if you're building into uh, you know, a grenade build. The discipline is 20 there. Recovery is great. Plus 25. That increases the speed of your rift or whatever you bloody call it. Um, you know, your ability timer. That's a good pair of boots there. Well worth picking up if you're just starting out. Or even if you aren't. And here's the Titan set. Let's have a look at the uh, anti-extinction gauntlets here. Uh, oh, are they alright? What's that? 63, no, not a great role. Lovely for transmogrification, though. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, let's have a look at the chest. Great looking chest piece as well. I think the Titan's got the best of the bunch here in regard to the looks for these anti-extinctions. 66, um, we've got a spike in resilience, which is okay, but not much to talk about anywhere else. There's your tea towel, if you want to look at it. A bit ragged around the edges there. Uh, nice helmet to the anti-extinction helm. Lovely. Statage, please. 65, recovery and discipline. Nice spike in uh, discipline. If that was in resilience, that would have been a pretty damn good roll. But as it stands, it's not bad. And the uh, trousers, let's have a look at those. Mind them. Uh, 68, bloody hell. Uh, but not a great spread, unfortunately. But 16 in strength, that's not too bad either. Great looking set, though, wouldn't you agree? And the hunter kegs, let's have a look here at the anti-extinction... Anti-distinctly minty grasps. Uh, ooh, nice spike of mobility there. And in discipline, not too bad at all. 63 is pretty low, though. You're really looking for 66, something like that, which would be worth your time. But if you're just starting out, that's better than what you're going to have at the beginning. Uh, Anti-extinction vest... Uh, we have 66 there. Spike in resilience and strength. I mean, straight is pretty good. You'd want it in mobility, though, for uh, your dodge recharge. Nice looking, too. I like the, uh, the ga not the gauntlets, the grenades. See this? I'm, uh, yeah, I think there's something wrong with me. Here's the cloak. Stella Incognita cloak. It looks like half a trouser zip that's been ripped off when you're escaping from something dodgy. Uh, there's no stats on that, of course. Uh, the mask. Let's have a look at that. 65. Spike in resilience and spike in strength. That's okay. Looks good. Gas masky. And finally, for the bootays, what have we got? Nice looking, too. Uh, 64. Mm, mobility, okay. Not particularly brilliant. But nice paddage there, though. And looking forward to next week, what do we have? Uh, well, of course, we've got Into the Light launching. There we are, lovely. We've got the Nightfall as well, Birthplace of the Vile. Crucible is Rift and Showdown. Uh, the Pinnacle Raid is King's Fall. The Pinnacle Dungeon is Grasp of Avarice. And part of Into the Light, look, we've got Whisper of the Worm there, which is the exotic mission, along with Pressage. So there's two there, that's interesting. And the bonus is on Gambit Ranks. Uh, there's nothing really that much cop with Banshee uh, today, but let's have a quick look at 
with Iron Banner because we don't have any trials either today, do we? Because Iron Banner is on. Uh, I was been reading, actually. I've been away for a couple of days, but I have been keeping up with what's going on. And it seems that the drop rate for, well, the weapon that everybody wants is this. It's the Tusk of the Ball here, Grenade Launcher. Uh, and the drop rate for it is pretty damn stingy by all accounts. But apparently, uh, people haven't been realizing that there's two ways to get this. You can get as a drop from the end of a match. Uh, but even if you haven't earned it yet, you can actually earn it just by cashing in a random engram. I just did one match quickly. I've only been back a couple of hours uh, and uh, I've gotten one here. I don't think I'm gonna get one when I drop it. But if you cash one of these engrams in, you've got a chance of getting the Tusk of the Boar. And then once you've got it, of course, you can then actually uh, focus it uh, where you can find it. Where, where is it? That's legacy items. What am I talking about? You can focus it here, look, for one iron engram and 20,000 glimmer, which then you can go for for trying to get one of the rolls that you're after. So yes, just pop one of these in like this and you might get it. Bloody hell, I didn't. Typical. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got like taken armor on here and it's an effect that you can get. It's really easy to get, but you do need to acquire a certain set of armor and also tincture of Queen's Foil. I've made a video about it. Uh, loads of people are watching it this week, which is totally marvelous. Thank you so much everyone for that. I'll leave a link to that in the end if you want to have this lovely taken look. Interesting week next week as well because not only do I have Into the Light, so I'll be covering that extensively but we've also got a final shape uh, dev preview sort of live stream so I'll be streaming that on Tuesday too so if you want to drop on by and have a little look please do you'll be very very welcome anyway let me know what you've bought from Zurich because I really'd like to know and thank you so much for watching hopefully my voice will be getting better soon and I shall speak to you very well soon oh, I said too soon then never mind I'm going out to that